Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. This video provides a step-by-step -step guide on how to associate or dissociate a public IP address from an Azure Windows VM using the Azure portal. When managing virtual machines in Microsoft Azure, controlling access to them is key. One common task is associating or dissociating a public IP address which determines whether the VM is accessible over the internet. Azure Virtual Machines is the main compute service in Azure. Azure offers the service of assigning public IP addresses to the VMs so that these computing resources can be accessed publicly. The organization is charged hourly for each public IP address it uses. We are charged for every allocated public IP address even if it is not in use. Now let's walk through the steps in action. For this guide, you need an active Azure subscription, an existing Windows VM and appropriate permissions. In the first step, you need to log into the Azure portal. Open your preferred web browser, navigate to portal.azure.com and sign in with your Azure account. Under Azure Services, click on Virtual Machines. For this video, we have an existing Windows VM named FWS-VM01 with a public IP address assigned. Click on VM name. On the overview tab, you can see the public IP address assigned to this VM. First, we will look at the steps to dissociate the public IP address from the VM. Click on public IP address. Now go to overview tab. At the top bar, we have the option to associate or dissociate the public IP address from the VM. Click on dissociate to detach the public IP address from the VM. This action will permanently dissociate the public IP address from the network interface. On the confirmation pop-up, click yes to continue. Now wait for the confirmation notification to appear. Settings have been saved successfully for this network interface. Go back to VM and click on refresh. Confirm that the public IP address has been removed from the VM. Now suppose you have an existing static public IP address and want to associate it with one of your VMs. Let's go through the steps to associate a public IP address to a virtual machine. In the portal, search for and select the VM that you want to add the public IP address to. Expand the networking section, then select network settings. Select the network interface to which you want to add the public IP address. This is the name of the network interface attached to our VM. Click on it. On the IP settings, select an IP configuration from the list. In our case, we need to click on IP config 1. Select associate public IP address checkbox, then choose an existing public IP address from the drop down list. If no public IP addresses are listed, you need to create one. If you want to create a new public IP address, you can select the first option. In the drop down menu, an existing public IP address is listed. Let's select it. Click on create a public IP address link. When creating a new public IP address, you can customize the settings to suit your requirements. At the moment, I am not covering these options. We will have a separate video on how to create a public IP address in the Azure networking video series. Click on cancel. Currently, I am selecting existing public IP address. Now click on save button to save the changes. Wait for the confirmation notification to appear. You can view the public IP address assigned to the IP configuration. Sometimes it may take a few seconds for a newly associated IP address to appear. We have successfully associated the existing public IP address to a Windows VM. Click on Networking Settings. Open the necessary ports in your security groups by adjusting the security rules in the network security groups. The RDP port rule is already allowed. Go to Oreo tab. On the overview tab, verify that this VM now has a public IP address assigned. Let's go to a resource group where the public IP address is stored. Click on free VM hyphen H01. This is a public IP address resource. Click on it. On the top bar, we have the option to associate and dissociate the public IP address. Click on refresh to see the updated status. Click on dissociate to remove this public IP address from any VM it was previously associated with. Click on yes. Wait for the confirmation message. Now let's associate this public IP address again with the existing network interface of a Windows VM. 
click on associate now we need to select the resource type to which we want to associate this public ip address from the drop down menu select network interface since we want to associate this public ip address to a windows vm now select the network interface attached to the windows vm this is the name of network interface which is attached to our vm fws vm01 after selecting the network interface click okay to save the changes wait for the confirmation notification to appear in this video we have seen two different methods to associate or dissociate a public ip address from an azure vm that's all for this video on how to associate or dissociate a public ip address from an azure windows vm using the azure portal i hope you found this video helpful and informative if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on microsoft azure and other microsoft related topics thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video have a great day